I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. You come into our sport, think it's going to be easy. But you're in for a real wake-up call. If you ask me, I think he's going to do big things here. Look out. Superman punch! That shovel's an equalizer. Spear! Spear! This is going to be one for the ages. We are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. So this is it, day one of training at the WWE Performance Center. As you can see, it looks like everyone heard I was coming and decided they'd be better off staying home. This is cool, but there's no way my journey ends here. I'm going to WWE and then straight to the top, where I make sure hey, that- what are you doing? You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. I was just... checking out the facility? <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. How did you even get in here? Guy up front let me in. Oh, big guy with the mustache? Kinda sweaty? Yep. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. I tried showing him my ID, but he said it wasn't necessary. And then he told me to walk right in. I mean, I get that I look like I belong here, but the guy's clearly not cut out for the job. If it were up to me, I'd fire him. Thanks for your input. Anyway, you're going to need to fill out your information on this and sign a bunch of waivers before you can begin training today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. You mean when I become a WWE superstar? Yeah, sure. Wait, have you been filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Frickin' Todd. Turn it off, please. All right, welcome to WWE 2K22 My Rise, Episode 1. Looks like we get to choose our own background, and I already know what I'm going for here. I'm going to go with indie an independent wrestler a lot of my favorite wrestlers are indie wrestlers now we get to choose our starting class i'm gonna go with i'm gonna go with striker i'm gonna completely change how my character looks but for now he's just gonna stay the way he is if Okay, yeah, let's just pick something really quick. And we'll fix everything later. Let's just choose the name. Okay, yeah, that's good enough. Might as well change this account name while we're at it. There we go, perfect. Okay, they know they have my actual name here, so, but where is it? I know it's here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Alright, they don't have my actual last name on here, so let's just go with Andrew. If I can find it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, perfect, good enough. I do not live in New York. Uh, Canada, Manitoba. Alright. And by the way, if I sound sick at all, if my voice sounds messed up, it's just, I kind of got a stuffy nose, so, oh my god. 
I gotta do something about this guy's face and hair. At least for now. No. How do I get out of here? Oh, here it is. Okay. We're not gonna go too crazy. My character is not gonna be incredibly ripped. And I'm not 5'8", I don't know, I'm not sure if I can fix that now that I... Okay, I don't think it should be that much of a problem. After training under two-time WWE Hall of Famer Booker T, you paid your dues on the indie scene, honing your craft until the WWE scouts took notice that you have proven yourself on the small stage. The spotlight will only get bigger. Do you have what it takes to make the jump from indie prospect to WWE superstar? Of course I do. Except you are about to save. Remember that while you can adjust the rest of your appearance throughout my rise, you cannot edit your body type once you move past this point. Would you like to continue? Yeah. Why not? He looks incredibly ridiculous, but in episode 2, I'm going to completely change everything so he doesn't look like Jackie Chan I wonder if we got a cutscene coming up I'm pretty sure we do I'm actually pretty excited to play my eyes oh yeah I think we do have a cutscene You done with all that yet? Just finished. It takes time to design a look like that. Hmm, eh, I've seen worse. So now what? Should I go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start? Front desk? What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks. Oh my god, my guy looks so ridiculous with that hair. He looks... I gotta change that ASAP. Okay, I was expecting another cutscene, I guess not. Uh, Hector Flores. Yeah, whatever. Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Don't call me new guy, buddy. Don't call me new guy, or rookie, or any other condescending nickname. Especially since from what I hear, you guys have only been here a week. Okay, suit yourself. And you're right. I've only been here a week, but I've been doing this since I was a kid in Mexico, which is a lot longer than you. So what? Your dad or uncle were wrestlers or something? <laughs> Must be nice. No. I got myself here. And I got myself to some of the top indie promotions in the world. And now here. What's your point? 
I wasn't saying you didn't. Unless your old trainer Booker T pulled some strings. Uh, my point is, you can either learn from people, or be stubborn and fall flat on your face. That's not an option. I've devoted my entire life to this. There's no backup plan. And by the way, Booker might have knocked on the door for me, but I'm not going to wait for someone to open it. I'm going to run right through it. All right, then. Good luck. Wow. We're straight up just disrespecting people right out of the gate with our ridiculous haircut. You know what? I don't, I already don't like the way this guy looks, so... Oh, you know what? We got 205 available points. Let's just try and make it as even as we can. Okay, I think that should be good enough. You know what? Let's give grappling and aerial and running a bit more. We should be fine. Social feed. Liv Morgan. Paragon. Tasia. Who the hell is that? I don't care about your. Oh wait, question for any fellow WWE fans: best era, Attitude Era, hands down. I mean, I wasn't even born yet when the Attitude Era started. Okay, we'll just check out all that later. Let's talk to the rest of these guys. Hey, who are you? It's my first day training here. Who are you? Seriously? Have you not been watching Japanese wrestling for the past six years? I'm Paragon J. Pierce, the biggest free agent WWE signed since AJ Styles. Uh, uh, bigger, actually. I actually know who you are, but no, I don't watch your matches. I don't want your boring, crappy style rubbing off on me in any way. Look me up online. Just search for best indie wrestler in the world. So you're an indie wrestler, huh? Man, you guys are all the same. You come into a major promotion thinking it's gonna be easy. But you're for a real wake-up call. I don't plan on being here very long. They actually should have never sent me here to begin with. But I'm gonna take this opportunity to send you running back to whatever backyard county fair parking lot indie league you came from. You remind me of a lot of the guys I faced on the indie circuit. All talk. Luckily for them, they don't have to face me anymore. Unfortunately, you do. Yeah, on a big stage, packed with pressure, like you've never experienced before. You're in my arena now, rookie. And when I'm done with you, you're gonna wish you stayed in your lane. We'll see. Dude's an asshole. Chase. Alright, Chase, what do you gotta say? I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Are you a referee here or. No, man. I'm training to be a wrestler. You and I have actually appeared on the same indie show in Memphis before. Really? I'm pretty good with faces, and I don't remember yours. Well, that's because you couldn't see my face. I was a mascot named Ribby. Oh yeah, the Memphis minor league baseball shows. I think I saw you win a dance-off. That was me! The best part of the job was getting to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. Mm. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. So that explains it. You're Lawler's charity case. I could say the same thing about you and Booker T, but I know I deserve to be here. You'll see. Sure, if I need a mascot to cheer me on. 
I'll let you know. Whatever. I was gonna ask you to autograph something for me, but now I'm not sure I want it. Probably not worth anything anyway. Wow, I don't know about injury. I'm going to injure you? I'm not, I don't know about that. I was just giving you a hard time. <sighs> you know what? I think we were just giving you a hard time. Relax. I was just giving you a hard time. I'll do it. You might need to sell it after you get cut here. Seriously? I'm messing with you again. See you out there, Case. Huh. Messing with me again, right? What do you mean? You called me Case, but my name's Chase. Good one. Oh, yeah. Totally messing with you. That's me. Full of jokes. Good luck on your first day at the PC. Remember what I taught you since day one. Pay your dues, put in the work, and be respectful of the other students and especially the coaches at all times. So basically don't do anything that would make you look bad or blow out other students from your school getting a shot with WWE. Oh, I'm going to earn everyone's respect. I don't care who I upset. I don't really care who I upset. I don't mind being a heel right off the gate. After all, it is easier being a heel than it is a face, so. I mean, that's what I've heard from a lot of interviews. We got a cutscene? We got another cutscene? I don't know how long I plan on making this first episode. Probably just the first match and that's it. I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input, but ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. <laughs> I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call, big shot. Okay, now that all that's out of the way, we're gonna start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right, new guy? Since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. Shawn Michaels. Uh, choose from the guy standing next to you. I'm not an option. Look, I could beat one of these guys, but that would be expected. I want to do the unexpected in WWE, like defeating a two-time Hall of Famer on my first day here. I know that might rub people the wrong way, but I don't care. I want to make an impact, and I want to do it right now. Uh, Hunter, you seeing this? This is your chance to say you're kidding. I'm not. It's cool. I'll do it. Sean, that's really not necessary. Look, if I was standing there in his shoes 30 years ago, I might have said the exact same thing. I'm not the HBK I used to be, but one thing hasn't changed. I don't lie down for anybody. Let's see what you got, kid. Let's go, Sean. Teach him why you're the showstopper. Sorry, I was a big fan. Old habit. Wow. 
Wow, so we're really going one on one with Shawn Michaels on our first day at the Performance Center. This is going to be a breeze. HBK saying he's not the HBK he used to be. Well, we'll see about that. Alright, let's get into it. Shawn Michaels. Get the... Alright, Shawn Michaels, let's see what you got. A little slow there, buddy. Man, strikers are good. Class, I'm glad I picked this. Played a few matches in uh, play mode, so basically know all the combos and everything there is to know. It's just a matter of getting rid of old ass Shawn Michaels. As soon as I stop recording, I really gotta change the way my guy looks. He looks absolutely ridiculous with this long hair. Alright, we got our signature. Let's try and hit it. Hopefully, he doesn't reverse it. Oh, that was a whack ass signature. Okay. Finish your time. Let's hit it. Oh, yeah. I think I might keep that. And just like that, we beat Shawn Michaels on our first day. Continue. Shawn Michaels, he, I'm, did he even hit us? I'm not even sure. Didn't look like he hit us at all. I don't think we took any damage. Pretty smooth class we picked too. All the smooth strikes. I'm definitely going to have to change that signature. Those elbows... Not really my thing. The decisions you made during the storyline have changed your alignment. Okay, so I'm officially a heel. Shawn Michaels, what do you got to say to me, buddy? I'll hand it to you. Took a lot of guts to call me out and then back it up in the ring. I said I was going to make an impact, and that's exactly what I did. It was a risk, and also a bit of a shortcut. From my experience, those two things don't always work out. But this one did, didn't it? I guess so, since Triple H just texted me that he saw our match on his live feed. He said he was impressed, and he'd be keeping an eye on you. Well, there you go. Everything turned out great, didn't it? Yeah, except for my sore back. Wasn't exactly planning on competing today. Now I'm paying the price. Just keep in mind this is one match. You still have a lot to prove before you're ready for WWE. What the hell was that? What do you mean? I mean calling out Shawn Michaels on your first day. There are unwritten rules to follow here. There's a system in place. Who do you think you are to just ignore all that? I think I'm the top prospect now. No, just because you caught an old timer off guard doesn't make you the top anything. That title still belongs to me and everyone here knows it. That's not what Triple H posted on social media. Wait, what did he say? Man, it sure is easy to get in your head. I'll keep that in mind going forward. Alright, I think I'm going to cut it here, depending on what's next, if it's another match, then I'll probably just cut it here. Uh, like I said, next episode, my character is going to look completely different, 
Uh, I'm not looking, I'm not dealing with the freaking long hair. And the, my guy just looks ridiculous. Okay, so it's not another match. We just get to talk to people. All right, so everybody tuning in, I'll post episode two shortly. Uh, I don't know when, maybe tomorrow, tomorrow evening, sometime, whatever. So make sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in WW2K22 My Rise episode two.